I am the pastor. I am the prince. Thank you for listening to our podcast, The, the pastor, pastor and, and the, the prince. prince. Oh boy, internet, thank you for joining us today. <laughs> we have a whole lot of things to talk about. But first, I, I want to do this. I, I just want to queue up where we're at today. Uh, we're getting close to Black History Month. For those of you that are catching this on the initial airing of this particular segment, we're airing this one on Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday. And there was a lot of people that are preparing to do some work. And speaking of work, Lau, you and I, we were just talking about something that you introduced to me. And you refer to it as black people homework. Mm -hmm. Well, as the techie person that I am, mm -hmm. I Googled it. Mm -hmm. And I was unable to find what this nebulous concept of black people homework. So today we're going to take out some time to talk about it. Yeah, we're going to talk about black people homework and we're going to give you an actual definition of black people homework. Mm -hmm. um, my definition, that'll, this will be the Prince Lyle definition of black people homework. Mm -hmm. um, but we've got a few things to talk about before that. We also have um, what's called uh, our word of the week. That's right, our word of the week. And uh, first of all, since I say of the week, I want to thank all of you who listened to our bonus episode. Yes. If you didn't know there was such a thing, uh, make sure that you go back and listen to episode B01. That's right, season one, episode B01. B as in bonus that's right. And uh, because there's some things you should be doing by the middle of January based on your goals. And um, so I'm just going to leave that at that. So that's part of your black people homework. Go back and, um, and check out that podcast, that yes. episode. Yes, you will enjoy it a lot. So back to our discussion on black people homework, because you were actually educating me mm -hmm. from your perspective on this black people homework. So I'm going to give you a little bit of information about me. Mm. I grew up in the suburbs of Cincinnati, Ohio, mm -hmm. the suburbs that I grew up in. Uh, my high school in particular, believe it or not, uh, there were not a lot of black children there. And I'm going to use the term black children because we did not use the term people of color. Mm -hmm. When I was coming up, we just said black people, colored people. Some mm -hmm. people may refer to, you know, us or of them mm -hmm. as Negro, but they might even use the other word that I don't use mm -hmm. uh, at all. So with that, I did not have a lot of, quote, black people homework in this particular environment. As a matter of fact, our graduating class being 800, mm -hmm. it was 13 blacks. Mm. So when I heard you say black people homework, I was like, oh, that's kind of a new concept to me. What do you mean by that? Talk, let, let's unravel this. <laughs> well, I, I, I actually, um, I mm. came up with a few other, um, few other things. First of all, I want to, I want to set it up saying that, um, my my idea of homework number one uh homework is important because it it teaches uh all of us uh mm -hmm. in the in the classroom setting it teaches the students as well as the teacher how to set priorities and and so i think one of those things is is uh having homework it helps us determine how well the lessons are being understood and we can actually apply that to our everyday life so as you are raising Excellent. children in the black community as you are raising uh even even those of us that are are uh those of our listeners that are not people of color mm -hmm. we want to find out how well you're getting the lessons uh we all want to be better we all and especially uh, talking about martin luther king and mm -hmm. the um the wonderful accomplishments that he was able to make for our society as a whole yes. so that we look less at color and look at culture and um i want to talk a little bit more about that but but uh yes, I, okay. I just want to stick a pin in that okay um, that's good so, you're, you're setting up some good foundation yeah, here yeah, yeah. with the homework aspect it yeah. almost reminds me of uh back to school that song i gotta go back mm, to school yeah back back to school so it sounds like there's some additional now i can tell you there was a word that i picked up in college okay remedial work. right 
that Absolutely. needs to be done Absolutely. for those of us in the black community. Right. Go but ahead. let me finish. Okay. So homework, um, I wanted to, to drive that home, that homework is very important. Homework is not done in the classroom. It's done on your own time. It's done as a part uh, of your playtime. Even extra. you have to manage that time to be able to stick that in there, to be able to show, because it's important. So in order for you to show the importance to the teacher or to, uh, because yourself, you be, you be, you wear two hats. You become your self teacher and you become your self student. Ah. So so you're showing yourself you're showing how yourself valuable it how really valuable is this information for is. you to okay. learn this information. Okay, so homework also uh, teaches all of us how to problem solve because when you do homework, sometimes you you practice. Sometimes you practice the math problems or you Correct. practice certain things or you go back over a paragraph and say, okay, how can I conjugate the sentence let's yes. try to use this word yes. in three or four sentences and see if i can come up with a complex sentence so or me, a compound sentence so let me rephrase what you're saying okay. we have to demonstrate to the instructor or mm -hmm. to ourselves mm -hmm. that we understand or that we've comprehended the material that we either read mm -hmm. or that we think we're understanding well that we understand comprehend value and mm. can apply it to situations. Oh boy, it's a, this is going to be a very interesting yes. talk yes. because yes. applying it to situations is my problem because I mm. don't see us applying mm. some of these things that we may have learned. So let, first of all, let, let's dive into our word of the week because it sounds like we didn't do that. And yep. you love these breaks. So mm. I, I feel a break coming on in oh, a few already? more minutes. No, oh it's goodness. not ready yet, Wait, but it's, okay. it's getting close. <laughs> I so. had to look at the clock real fast. Yes, you did have to look at the clock. And I'm definitely going to keep <laughs> like, you what? clock bound. Yes, today. sir. All yes, right, sir. let's go ahead. Let's all talk right. about the word, word of the week. week. Word of the week is civil rights. All right. So I'm using the word of the week. Uh, I'm using two words you, as almost a phrase say it's of the week. Not a word right, of the okay, week. Okay, it's, it's a, a caption of the week. week. It's but a I'll, caption I'll go of the word week. of the week. Because okay, it's, so it's civil important. rights. What civil rights mean? is is basically one word made of two words. <laughs> one concept. That's fine. That's okay, fine. so I'll break that down. Let me back up the way we do. I'll back up uh, because I don't want to define a word with a word. So civil sounds good to me. Civil number one, we know it relates to ordinary citizens in their concerns uh, as opposed to military or ecclesiastical matters so civil nice. so now we're talking about ordinary citizens right and then when we talk about the rights of those citizens we're talking about the moral or legal entitlement so so there is I an like entitlement that. you know there's a generation who think they're always entitled entitled that's a whole yes, nother that's show a whole nother show but oh. there is an entitlement that comes with just being human okay so so there's a rights. human right yes 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 ah. so now your civil right as a nor as an ordinary citizen, you have a right, which is a moral, a moral or legal entitlement to have or obtain something or to act in a certain way. You have the right to act in a certain way. You have the right to obtain certain things. You have a civil right rights. to learn now, to read. You now have a right yeah. to learn to exactly. write. Exactly. That's a part of yeah. black people homework. I was gonna say All you right. have a right to understand the things that you read exactly. or write. Exactly. Now we, let me let me get back to the word let's go before back to you the get word. on that. I gotta keep him on focus, y'all. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I gotta we have to keep each other on focus that's because we right. actually run out of time. That's absolutely right. Because there's so you much know, that wait, comes out I, of this. I, I just want to digress for just one second. Digress. Somebody somebody was giving me feedback on our other episodes and they said, You and the pastor are just all over the place. Y'all gotta stay focused. I said, but what you don't understand is you're listening to an example of conversations that, that we, have we have all the time. All the time. We're just all over the place. So we're, we're going to try to stay focused but, to stay on our topic. So let me go back to the word. Yeah, we're going to go back to the word. But let me let me just add this yes. when it talks about focus. Every time you mention something mm -hmm. that's dealing with education, yeah. we find out quickly that that's another show. And I'll give that's you an true. example of this really quick. Mm -hmm. Writing. That's not mm. something that we do in the age that we're living in now. We do more typing than and, writing. And cursive writing. 
that it's was not even what, taught in the schools anymore. That was actually anymore. what I wanted to bring up. Yeah, it's not even a, taught in the schools whole, anymore. We don't. I had to bring a couple of English teachers on to to help us talk to about help that. Us talk I, about I know a few of them who are very writing. passionate about that. Yes, yes, I, yes, yes. I would agree. So, so, so civil back rights. to our rights. We have the right civil to rights. learn. Right. We have the right to read. We have the right to do mathematics. Go ahead and continue up. And we have a right to to the pursuit of happiness and uh, all of those things, right? Um, so civil rights. All right. So now that we know what civil is, we know what rights are, let's do uh, civil rights. Uh, so civil rights is the right of citizens to political and social freedom and equality. Civil rights guarantees of equal social opportunities, opportunities and equal protection protection under the law regardless of race creed religion or other personal characteristics that is a wonderful definition of there civil you go. rights civil rights but you know what that actually brings us into our right as mm. citizens mm. to take a break yeah we do have a right to take a break we have I, that's why i love the sabbath break. too shabbat Shabbat Ooh, gives us a right to take now a break. Now you're about to make me happy. <laughs> so we're going to take a quick Shabbat. That's right. And then we'll be back. Because we're talking about Martin Luther King and, and we're Dr. talking about King. Dr. Dr. King and black people's homework. And black people homework. And that's some things that we will pick back up on the other side of this Shabbat. Few would realize that Dr. Martin Luther King had changed the direction of his movement from one of civil rights to one that focused on economic disparity. Harry Belafonte speaks on his last conversation with Dr. King. Midway through the civil rights movement, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. realized that the struggle for integration would ultimately become a struggle for economic rights. I remember the last time we were together at my house shortly before he was murdered. He seemed quite agitated and preoccupied, and I asked him what the problem was. Dr. King stated, I've come upon something that disturbs me deeply. We have fought long and hard for integration, as I believe we should have, and I know that we will win. But I've come to believe we're integrating into a burning house. It appears Dr. King came to the realization that social integration was causing us to trade our progress in politics and civil rights for our economic stability. In Dr. King's last public speech made in Memphis, Tennessee on April 3, 1968, he asked the locals to boycott the likes of Wonder Bread, Coca-Cola, and to patronize black banks and insurance companies. This would be Dr. King's final request of us. He was assassinated the following day. This is Patrick Sturgis with A World of Black History. And we're back. We're back. You're listening to the Pastor and the Prince podcast. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for listening. We were talking about civil rights, and I'm so glad that uh, we got a chance to uh, introduce a segment to you called a world of black history that was uh mr patrick sturgis and i'm so thankful that he decided to do the research and produce that segment for us thanks patrick thank you so much patrick we certainly appreciate it so you'll be hearing more about that because it is a good idea for us to not wait until what is prescribed as black history to talk about black, black history. history and it's okay it's our right uh -huh. it's our right to i'm gonna have to create to an amen button amen mm -hmm. it's our right to continue to celebrate black history after it's on the calendar after the 28th day of the shortest month of the year yeah well there's a reason why mm. they selected february yeah, okay. as black history month yeah. for those of you that have the uh, dvds of good times i would <laughs> love for you to watch the episode where michael evans speak to black history week mm. you have to realize that that show was done in the 60s now that's a good that's a good part of our list of black people homework and i'm glad you said that because uh if you watch the the sitcom the old sitcom um called good times there are some really interesting uh cultural uh, educational points in there and mm -hmm. that is that is the whole point of it i think it's it's really uh less about color when you talk about black people homework mm -hmm. because black people homework number one i don't 
I, I don't look at black people homework just for black people. Black people uh-huh. homework is also assigned to people that are not of color, Caucasians okay, so that's and Caucasian, others. Caucasian, those because, that are Asian, right, because those that are uh, Middle Eastern, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever ethnicity yes, you are, yes, if you're yes. going to enter the North mm-hmm. Americas as a country, it's good to understand the history mm-hmm. of the entire culture. Yeah, yeah. Now, here's here's the thing, because uh, one of the points that I'd like to make is that um, I I heard, uh, I actually heard Don Lemon saying this, um, that he was really getting exhausted trying to explain uh, why something is racist or why something is inappropriate to say or do to his white friends. And I think it's, it becomes unfair after a while because you don't want to do your homework. You want black people to give you all the answers. And sometimes black people want black people to, to give, give them, them all, all the answers. answers. But well, you need to do your homework. You should do your because homework. that tells me that you value the lesson. I'll, I'll say this. that tells you me that sh- you you are learning to problem solve. You should do your homework, but what we've learned and what we've observed is the flip side. Mm, yeah, yeah. What we've seen is we have a lot of lazy people mm. in this information age. Yes, and I'm I'm going to be good because I I can talk about that mm. in just a few moments. But go ahead, you were saying. Yeah, well, okay, so so I was talking, I introduced the idea of uh, culture versus color. Yes. Um, and when you talk about racism, when you talk about color, you talk about all those things that actually induce our idea of black people homework. Um, I want to say that the color of your skin has nothing to do with who you are. Um, it's where we live. It's who raised us, our family traditions, our geography. There are so many things that, that do have to do with the color of your skin, but the things that are inside of us are the content, as Martin Luther King said, Dr. Yes, the Martin content Luther King, of your character. content of your character. You go. So what we want to focus on is not as a society and as a world, we'd love to see the focus not on the color color of your skin but but on culture being able to observe culture so when a person says i'm sorry i'm not racist i don't even see color that's inappropriate because what you're telling me is that i'm invisible to you i'm a black man so if you don't see color you don't see me and that's not a good feeling and so what i'm saying is sometimes we i think we should focus on culture because when you focus on culture you can embrace culture and learn other people's culture now when you said that 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 actually took me to a book that um Mm. A if you if I can use the term an OG, but it was actually my <laughs> apostle. He was the one that introduced me to the book. What does OG stand for? Uh, I believe it stands for old gangster. Yeah, <laughs> gangster. <laughs> so uh, generally, what will happen is, is anyone that's older, the younger people will refer to the older as, as an, an OG. OG, which I I, I totally um, mm-hmm. I totally understand is their way of giving. It's deference. a term of indef- It's a term yes, of endearment. They're, too, they're giving from the deference younger. to um, those that are that are aged Mm -hmm. if you will Mm -hmm. but let me uh mention this there was a book that was uh mentioned to me that i i needed to take a look at Mm -hmm. and just to read and the name of the book was called the spook that sat by the door Mm. okay yes and when you mentioned the invisible part of individuals my mind went directly to that book the Mm. spook that sat by the door because i'm sure they probably looked at him as an invisible man because Mm. You know, he's sitting there most likely as a butler during a time period where we didn't really matter. We were just servants. We were, you know, hey, Charlie, go get this. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, boy, go get that. Mm -hmm. You know, we were seen more as servants and not necessarily as literary giants Mm -hmm. that may be able to conjugate Mm -hmm. a verb, et cetera. So, yeah, that took me there. That's 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 really interesting. I'm glad you brought that up. Um, I was talking about color, and um, I wanted to mention one other thing: is that colors carry deep meanings in them. Um, what do you mean by that? Colors well, carry deep meanings because Just, because give there us a some, brief on that. There are some colors that um, that really um, correlate with uh, who um, who 
where I was raised, like I was, like I was saying, colors have have to do with family traditions. It have to do with geography. It has to do with who raised us and so forth. So in every culture, mm-hmm. um, there are there are different meanings of color. Okay. Um, like um, for instance, um, uh, for Eastern, uh, Middle Eastern, Indian, and uh, mm-hmm. and African cultures, um, there are stark differences in the symbolisms of color. Okay. Um, within their cultures is what I'm saying. Within their cultures. Within their cultures. For instance, okay. some cultures where white represents purity, mm-hmm. there are other cultures where white represents death. Um, yes. It, it's it's the same as the difference between uh, so, animals. So They're, let's back that up. Yeah, white representing yeah, yeah. death. Mm-hmm. What I've learned from my friends that are in Asia, Asia, Mm -hmm. I believe that is the case for them. White is one of those colors that represents not something that it represents for Mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. So um, I I do understand that. And I've also seen that um, if you go toward the Middle East, and I'm going to say the Indian Middle East, Mm -hmm. there is that dichotomy between the lighter version of the Indians versus the darker version Mm -hmm. of the Indians, depending on where they're at in the social caste right. system if you will i've also noted that with my friends that are from africa mm. you have some that are from we'll just call it south africa that mm-hmm. might be a much lighter mm-hmm. version than those that are from west or east mm-hmm. you know parts of africa will depend on you know your shade of color right. that you are and i don't know if that's what you're referring to so i wanted you to dive into that more well well that's that's what i mean is it is that depending on where you are the color the symbolism of color, of color can mean something, can mean different. something different. So what we want to do is when we talk about skin, um, skin should never come into the play of understanding Someone. other than understanding where you came from you or came from. Yeah. how often you were in the sun or, or yeah. where's your de- geography or whatever, that kind Correct. of thing. But not to determine who you are and what your and activities what you are. are in even in police training. So, uh, wait, let me let me say this. No, no, go even, ahead, in poli- even in police training, mm-hmm. um, uh, and even some of the algorithms of of software and uh, technology that was used in mm-hmm. law enforcement, they mm-hmm. found out that um, there are darker um, people that are recognized on the software mm-hmm. that are considered c- criminals oh. or people who should be targeted or people who are dangerous versus those that are lighter. Wow. And so, so, th- I need you so to pause saying on that. that, wait, 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 wait. wait I know that's a lot. Too. I know it's a lot. But in saying that, I'm 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 driving home that it is important for us to mm-hmm. pull the focus off of the color of the, skin, the color of the skin and pull right. the focus on understanding the culture. The culture behind because because there's a culture in every neighborhood. There's a culture mm-hmm. in the suburbs. There's a culture in you know so forth and so on. Correct. So so color versus culture leads us to the black people homework because if you want to understand my culture and my subculture it is better for you to understand that than to try to understand me because of the color of my yeah, skin and so that we don't get wrapped up in the color of your skin number one you said two things uh number one we'll have to have another um podcast um session mm-hmm. with the algorithms that's mm-hmm. happening with yeah. artificial intelligence yeah. and facial recognition right. and how it's failing for those of us that are black. Yeah, So absolutely. that's number one. Absolutely. Number two, I was going to ask you about a something that was known in the entertainment industry. They refer to it as the paper bag test. Mm. If you're lighter than the paper bag, then, hey, we can get you this type of job. If you come in darker on the paper bag, you'll get that type of job. But for those of you that are interested in the, quote, paper bag, this is going to go back to what the prince mentioned as far as black people homework. That Mm -hmm. would be some homework that you can do to find out if that was something that is true. Now, I, I wanted to take you back because you had mentioned, you kept mentioning black people homework, black people homework. And I wanted to talk about something specific because as a computer person, we don't get the opportunity to deal in Um, things that are that abstract, we Mm -hmm. almost have to program to specifics. Mm -hmm. So when we start specifically talking about homework, are you talking about black people homework? Go find out more about Dr. Martin Luther King. Mm -hmm. Go find out more about 
uh, Malcolm X. Mm -hmm. Go find out more about Thurgood Marshall. Mm -hmm. Or are you saying, hey, we should maybe look at some of the unsung mm -hmm. heroes of the black community that we need to be looking at? Yes. What absolutely. do you mean when you say? I mean all of that. Because number one, you have to have the foundation. Um, so, so it is finding about those people who you already heard about. But it's also using that to find out, well, who were the because you can you can use that in your research to kind of branch out into other things so even though you know about um martin luther king and before we go to this break before you know about um now that you know about martin luther king mm -hmm. why not find out who were the other characters that were marching that with were him? marching with him and well, so what are some of the other names? names give me yeah. some of the other some names, of the other that names. You know about. number one harriet tubman okay we uh, know about james, her because of the james movie. baldwin and james i've got baldwin's i've got a, a quote one. i've got a really good quote from him too we'll, we'll do that uh, w. E. B. Du Bois. Oh, uh huh. Ooh, you Washington. said Du Bois versus Du Bose. No, it's not Du Bose. It's Ooh. not Du Bose. Du Bose is actually spelled D U B O S E. This is spelled D U B O I S. Du Bois. Ooh, du so Bois. the S is silent. That's right. Love it. That's right. That's right. Now, Love it. Now, keep um, going. More George days. Washington Carver. Um, yes, we know about him because of peanuts, right? Yeah, but there's some there's some there's all kind of other things that, that he's done. Yeah, the yeah, peanuts and and even even people and 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 here's here's where you can start your homework. Mm -hmm. Start in the industry where you work and find out nice. what blacks were involved in in your industry. So wait, in your industry, it sounds like you were more on the entertainment side. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. Uh, in entertainment, what I'm, were some I'm of gonna, the? I'm not gonna give them that, but but uh, there's uh, Lena Horne and there's Mahalia Jackson, uh, but that's the black people homework, you know. Okay, yeah. So so what about the color purple? Well, the yeah, the color purple, yeah, you could you could you could put that in my industry too. That's film, and because I, that's I did film. I did a two I did two movies. Okay, I was gonna plug. say you got to do it. Let's do the shameless <laughs> yeah, plug. Yeah, what yeah. were, what so, were the movies that you were involved with? Oh, I did uh, Disney's Princess and the Frog. Princess and the Frog. And Kevin Costner's Black and White. Black and White. Yes, okay, Princess yes. and the Frog mm -hmm. wasn't that the first Disney movie that they did with, with that princess. black leading yes. lady as the princess, princess Tiana. Oh, that's right. I and love she that. was she was loosely based on her character was loosely based on a very uh, popular chef this is another piece of black history her name was leah chase she just passed away no. in her 90s uh just recently a couple of years ago and they're looking to name one of the most famous areas in new orleans after her after her i yeah. think that's appropriate yeah, yeah. That so is appropriate. so that that was yes. loosely based on her life as a kid and she she uh founded dookie chase's restaurant which is one of the nice. restaurants where all the presidents have come to New Orleans and eaten there. All the some of the major so icons of the, the world. So you giving me the entertainment part. Yes. You giving me movies. What mm -hmm. about music? What do you know on the music side? On the music I believe side, you're in music yeah. as well. That's right. That's right. I've I've uh, I've been in music since I was five years old. Um, professionally since interesting. Yeah, professionally since since uh, at least thirteen or sixteen. Uh, uh, yes, legally sixteen. Legally sixteen. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But um, but of course, that. there's like I said, uh, Lena Horne, Mahalia Jackson. Um, there's also uh, Louis Armstrong um, there, and 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 also I have to mention Aretha Franklin uh, because it ties nice. into us talking about civil rights. There were a lot of um, a lot of artists who actually funded a lot of the expenses of civil rights. Mahalia Jackson was there and she helped her friend, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Tell him about the dream, Martin. Uh-huh, exactly. Tell him about the dream, Martin. She was the one who influenced him to use that speech uh, on the March on Washington. And here's the thing I want to give to Aretha Franklin, the Queen of Soul. The Queen of Soul. Aretha Franklin um actually funded a lot of the civil rights movements she gave them money for the expenses that they had to do and a lot of people didn't know that they came to her concerts and there were people of all walks of life all color all creeds all religions and they didn't know that that some of the money that she was making she was funneling it to, um, to the movement to the movement so that's right aretha that's right. was buying buses <laughs> <laughs> like Mrs. Thomas. <laughs> like Mrs. Thomas. There you gotta go. go back because and listen you got to go back and listen to the insurrection episode. I think that was episode Ooh, number two. Yes. Where we, we tell you we about that. We have to take our All final right. break. Yes. And yes. we will be back after we'll give you this some more. message. Yes. And we're back. We're back. I am the prince. 
I am the pastor. That's right. Pastor Tim Hamner is who you're listening to. That's who pastor the, the pastor is. And Prince Lyle is who you're listening to over to the side of me here. Mm -hmm. If you'd like to get in touch with us, by the way, um, one of our uh, platforms that uh, we release our, our podcast on, as you're probably listening to, podcast.yahogo.org. That's right. And it's spelled Y-A-H-O-G-O dot, dot O-R-G. That's right. And you can also email us, podcast at yahogo.org. And uh, you can you can follow me on all social media. I'm on there as Prince Lyle. You can find me on everything, including Grammy Pro. Yeah, and, and I'm not on <laughs> any of them. So, no, I shouldn't say that. He's on I'm some a, things. You can find I'm him. on some things, but you I, can find I him don't at church. reply. There you go. You That's the best place you can find Yahweh's me. Yahweh's House of God. Yahweh's House Shout of God. Shout out to Yahweh's House Yahweh's of God Yahweh's House of God in Oakland, in Oakland, California. Or online, yahogo.org, every Saturday, 1 p.m. Central. 1 p.m. Um, Pacific. Pacific. Sorry. Standard, yeah. We're in Pacific. I tell him we're back home for a second. We're back home there. Pacific Standard Time. Okay, listen. We were talking because I'd like to give a homework we need black to people homework wrap but it up before we do that i want to mention some very significant things about martin luther king dr martin luther king number one he was an american baptist minister and activist that's right he was a minister and an activist mm -hmm. that's why you keep hearing dr martin luther king you keep hearing reverend dr martin luther king he was a baptist minister who became the most visible spokesperson the most visible spokesman and leader in the civil rights the american civil rights movement from 1955 until his assassination in 1968 he was born on january 15th but uh it became national law that we would give a holiday to him on every third monday no matter what date that fell in january so that's what that's what we celebrate even when this podcast is, is released right um so the 17th of um the year 2022 uh we celebrate dr martin luther king day but but his actual birthday is January 15th. Here's a few other things to help you with your black people homework. Um, Martin Luther King Jr. is known for his contributions to the American civil rights movement in the 1960s. And this is how he helped to change the entire world. His most famous work in his I have a is his I have a dream speech. It was delivered in 1963 and he spoke of his dream of a United States that's void of segregation and uh, racism. Now, here's how he changed um, society in, in the entire world. He was largely responsible for the passage of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Voting Rights the Voting Rights Act of 1965. The Civil Rights Act banned discrimination in the workforce, so some of us are enjoying that. I'm almost done. And you know what? We're, we're going to have to leave some on the, the table oh! so that they can go back and find yes. out with their black... Because this yes. is the black people black home people that we're homework. talking about. Go back and find What's out what the voting is, rights is, was. is yes. We're trying to squeeze all of this into a 30-minute segment, know, and guess right? what? We're out of time. And I'm going to share something with you that uh, Mr. Baldwin says, and this mm -hmm. is what Mr. Baldwin says. I can't believe what you say yes. because I see what you do. Ooh. You went over, and that's why preachers get a bad <laughs> rap when they say, we're going to close, and, <laughs> and then they got three closes, and I couldn't even get my podcasting partner here to close well, on time. Well, so while we're closing, we're going to close. Dr. Martin Luther King said that. darkness cannot drive out darkness only light can do that only light can do that so now that we have the light we're going to turn the lights out on this oh, particular no. podcast we enjoyed it you have some yes. homework to do we've shared some things we've primed the pump we mm -hmm. want you to go back and to begin to maybe extend the discussion That's a little right. bit more along with us maybe you want to share some things with us that yes. we did not share and maybe we can create another podcast during yeah. the month of february we have the month of february throughout you know the rest of the year as the prince had mentioned that black people homework is not something that starts now it is something that's year round and so it's also not just two black people it's not just two black people mm -hmm. is those that want to find out about the black experience in america mm -hmm. so that you can understand maybe why we're so frustrated why we're so irritated why we do some of the things that we and do you might be able to understand why they don't necessarily like us but they like our culture and what we have to bring yes. to the table See, my soul food is so soulful. Mm. With that, I am the pastor. And I am the prince. You are listening to the prince and the, the pastor podcast. Mm. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. Mm.